Okay, um, I did Aries. I'm going to move on to Taurus, the second sign in the zodiac. your past. This is how your past will affect your future. So this is your past. So we have the Nine of Cups, Justice, Reverse Six of Cups, Reverse Ace of Swords, Reverse Four of Swords, Reverse Hierophant, and the Two of Swords. But we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse, touching Justice. This is also what Aries had. Aries is a fire sign, cardinal. Taurus is earth, fixed. So, but though they are, they are in a row. So we have the Nine of Cups with Justice. So you feel, you feel as though you're, this is the past. In the past, you felt like you did not have you did not have fair treatment in regards to something that you possess. So you had something or someone that wasn't, in the past you felt wasn't fair. You did not feel like it was fair. Uh, there were other people who were telling you that yes, you know, it, it is, it is right. You know, everything's gonna, in the past somebody told you everything's gonna be okay, but you did not, listen to that, uh, you saw right through them. There was somebody deceiving you from your past, but you saw right through it, but you didn't, you didn't do anything about it. You just cut them off. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, touching the reverse Six of Cups. You cut them off. You cut them off and you did not think twice about it. In the past, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Two of Swords in reverse. Ares also had the Four of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse. So Taurus, you maybe want to look at Ar Ares' reading. So you are, well, this person made you feel restless. This person made you feel like you were dumb. They, somebody underestimated you and now you are alone with your feelings and now you're deciding. Let's see what you decided. Let's see how your past is affecting your present. So we have the High Priestess, the Magician up, reversed, Four of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So we have the High Priestess touching the Ace of Swords. Yes, when you cut this person out, it was something that you knew because you saw right through them. You found out a secret. You found out something that made you upset. It made you upset. But whatever it was, you somehow connected the dots by yourself. In the past, there was something you connected the dots to. You connected the dots to this and it made you upset. It made you upset. We have the Four of Cups. Two of Pentacles. We have the Magician up reverse, touching the Four of Swords in reverse. So this person made you restless. This person caused you to get confused for a long time. You kind of avoided work. You avoided your responsibilities because you were so focused on this thing and deciding. And so let's see, let's see how your current, your present, your past, and this is your past present 
Let's see how your past is affecting your present for June. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess, Ten of Wands reversed, Two of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. We have two, 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 all upright. Two, two, two. So definitely, with the Nine of Swords touching the High Priestess, touching the Ace of Swords, there was definitely something that caused you pain. There was a snake. There was something, some type of relationship collapsed, and this caused you so much pain. There was a secret you discovered in your past that's now affecting your present, and it's and right now your present. You are currently in pain. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So yes, um, with the Magician in reverse and the Four of Swords in reverse, touching the Ten of Wands in reverse, this means that you were distracted. In whatever job you do or whatever you do for work or for income, it's been distracting you. Right now in your present energy, there is something that you can't get off of your mind and it's distracting you from what you have to do. It's distracting you from your responsibilities and it's something to do with love. And it's a definitely, this is a relationship. This is turning into a relationship reading. There's a person on your mind and it's distracting you from your work. And you have the five of pentacles touching the two of pentacles. So this could turn into the seven of pentacles. But it, for now, let's say that this is something that you feel abandoned. You feel abandoned or you abandoned this person, but you feel abandoned in you. And it's something that you possibly regret and you keep going back and forth on it. You keep going back and forth on it and, and it's like you want to know more of something and possibly somebody has been giving you lies. There's possibly a lie that somebody told you and you're confused and you don't know what to believe and because of this you cannot focus and it's hindering you in what you have to do, whatever it is you do on a daily basis. Okay, let's see how your present will affect your future for June. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Reversed Five of Wands. Okay, you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to have these feelings. You don't want to. You don't want to feel this way anymore. You don't want to feel disharmony. You don't want to feel out of balance. Five, because five is ten. You don't want to feel it anymore. Ten, done. You want it to be over with. When we have the Ace of Pentacles touching the Nine of Swords, this is something, yes, that is definitely affecting your work because when the sword is coming down and the Nine of Swords is coming down and it's touching and it's stabbing the Ace of Pentacles, it's it's poking the coin. This is something that is affecting your money, your income, your 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 house, anything tangible, your body, you know, it's it's some your your present energy, there is something that is bothering you, that is keeping you from, from being your best self, you're being happy, okay? And when we have the Queen of Cups touching the reverse Ten of Wands, in between the Four of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this means that you are already aware of this. When we have, when we have the Queen of Cups touching the Ten of Wands, on her mind is the reverse Ten of Wands. So on her mind, she, she knows, he or she knows that this is affecting affecting you you know it's this is affecting you and you want it to end because we have the ten of wands you know you, you see these sticks they want to come out and that's in your mind you want it to end you know it's in her head okay it's in her head she wants it to end she doesn't you don't want this this is your present energy you don't want it anymore you want it to end this is for june and then we have the four of pentacles between the ace of pentacles this can also be combined to be the five of pentacles so you already know what you have to do you know and then we have another five of pentacles so in a way this could also be five of pentacles repeating itself so you are right your present energy you're definitely feeling stuck you're definitely feeling like abandoned you're definitely feeling like like helpless or not helpless but like in a rut and you're stuck and you don't want to feel this way you're you don't want to feel this way let's see how your present will affect your future for june Okay, so this is your future for June. We have the reverse nine of wands, six of pentacles, the devil in reverse, six of wands in reverse, king of pentacles, nine of pentacles, eight of cups. All right, so the nine of wands, 
the Ace of Pentacles in between the nine and nine, nine one nine, eighteen, nineteen, nine plus one is ten, eleven. Okay, so I'm just adding up these. The priestess is three. It's two, sorry. So the nine of wands in reverse touching the six of pentacles. Okay, so for the future, you're still stuck in an energy where you want to escape from feeling, feeling trapped. Um, you, you're being, you're holding within, you're, you're withholding, you're withholding your physical affection and your emotion from someone. There's, there's someone you're not paying attention to. There's someone you're ignoring or avoiding because you don't want to get hurt. And in the future, you're, that energy, that action that you're taking is still going to continue into June. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, touching the Five of Wands in reverse. That's 11. It could be the Two of Wands. So this is something in your control, and you are doing this. So yes, in June, possibly towards the end of June, the last week of June, you're going to you're, you're still going to be um, withholding because you don't want to feel controlled or hurt. You just want to focus. You have the King of Pentacles touching these two. You just want to focus on your money, on your job, on your success. That's what you want to focus on because you know that if you don't, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse touching the King of Pentacles. So you know that if you don't. You're going to, you're, you're not going to have, there's something, there's something you're, you're saving up for. And you know that you're not going to have it if you keep, if you keep talking to this person. And you don't know if you're, you, you don't, in the future, you don't know if you're brave enough to do it. There's something you fear. And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, so this is something that you, you're going to be really sad to walk away from. And you don't know if you can walk away from it. And you're going to be thinking a lot towards the end of June about it. This is all about a relationship. This is all about you trying to find balance in your life. Let me know if this resonated. 